What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to create a blocking state. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we'll need to create is a new input, right? So let's go to the third person folder, go to the input folder, and now we're going to create a new action event. So let's right click, go to the input category, and create an input action. Let's name this something as IA underscore, and then something as block. We don't have to change anything, we will leave the value type as the little bool as basically will be on or off. And we're going to go directly to the IMC default, which is the asset mapping collection. So double click to open this up, open up this and add a new input. In this case, it will be this IA block and then we're going to assign a key. So we can click this button and then, you know, uh, put something in our keyboard. For example, the right mouse button. Okay, and there we go. We can also go ahead and just manually search it, but it's easier to just go ahead and just use that shortcut. Anyway, so now we have the input created, okay, and we can use this new input action in our blueprint for our player. So let's go ahead and close this, go to third person blueprints and open up the third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint that you're using. Let's go to the main event graph, go down and let's right click and start typing IA underscore lock. And we'll be using this enhanced action event. So as you can see, we have different, you know, connections over here. The one that we are interested on is started and completed. Started is when we start to hold the block right mouse button and completed is when we stop holding. So what we can do is just, you know, print here uh, something as blocking. And if I know how to type, and then we're gonna go ahead and just copy paste this node, put it on completed, and let's put here stop blocking. And now you can see that when I press play and I hold the left mouse button, so the right mouse button, we get blocking. And when I um, release it, we get stop. Start to hold it, stop. So everything is going ahead and working great. So the only thing we need to do is, of course, begin to, you know, show the animation of blocking. Now, in this case, let's quickly just edit an idle animation and let's convert it ourselves to be blocking. So let's go to the characters folder, go to mannequins go to animations, many, and then you can see that I have this MM auto animation. Let's duplicate this animation and let's name this something as just blocking. And now if we open this up, it just has the auto animation. So let's go ahead and just put the um, cursor right at the start of the timeline. And I'm gonna go into the skeleton tree. And from there we're gonna go down until we find the, yeah, the left hand. Okay, let's do, Actually, not better the right hand, right? So let's go and find the clavicle R, and you can see it's here. So make sure to select the rotation tool, maybe add some snapping of 10, like I have here, and we can start to rotate this bone. Let's put it as maybe minus 50 for now, and what we have to do is basically go and add a keyframe into this new bone rotation. And now we have moved this bone to be here. Then let's go to the upper arm and we can also kind of move it a bit to around here right 30 and again click on key leaving the timeline at the beginning because it will stay like that for the whole animation and then for the lower arm we can simply just kind of do a little block like this right you get the idea and there we go we are kind of blocking with the character in a certain way you can put more detail to this but i think this will work and let's add a new keyframe and now as you can see, if I just press the animation, we leave it like that. So we are kind of blocking, right? Imagine we have a shield here and we are actually blocking uh, a bit more precisely, right? And of course, if you have your own blocking animation, you can use that too. So now I can just close this. And if I open this up, you can see everything stays because we added those keyframes, which is very important. And now we just need to go ahead and, you know, begin playing that animation and end playing that animation when we block so what we need to do is go ahead and create a boolean here that then we will turn our, our you know animation blueprint to start and stop playing that animation so let's go to variables add a new variable and this will be blocking and let's you know set it as a boolean so it'll be true or false which is by default so let's drag it set it and on start it will basically set it to true and then copy and paste it and on complete it it will be the opposite so disable it and now basically we are you know enabling and disabling this blocking variable when we start holding and you know release it so in this case now we just need to access this blocking variable in the animation blueprint of our character so in this case we go to the mesh on the viewport here you can see that for the name class i'm using avp 
queen c so in this case let me change it to abp mani just to make things a bit simpler and change mani okay and that's just because the main uh, animation blueprint is in mani so it will just kind of make things a bit easier because it's the parent okay so queen as you can see is a child so that's why i'm gonna use mani so it's a bit easier for us all right so mani will basically contain this a name grab with the main states and everything like that so the first thing that we're going to do is receive this uh, blocking variable in our animation blueprint and that way we can then use it so for that we're going to be using the event graph of the animation blueprint so we can access all our stuff and basically we need to you know access our third person character which guess what we need to cast now here we ca uh, we cast into the character class but we need to do it a step further into our third person character so we can get the variables and so on so basically what i'm going to do is just copy this get only actor node and just paste it at the end here. Remember, this is the event blueprint initialize animation. This is like the begin play of the animation blueprint. When it starts, you know, to play, it will, you know, cast and we'll save this. So from here, we're gonna cast to the third person character blueprint. We just basically just access in it. And then we can just simply use um, save this on a variable, okay? So this will be something as right click, promote, and just, you know, um, third person character bb i think there's no spaces i start oh, there we go. and there we go so now we have that saved on a variable which we can use later on and we just cast one time at the beginning of the game and the initialize animation for performance reasons so now I'm here in the update because of course we need to constantly be updating and checking this variable right because at any time we can click i'm gonna go ahead and just add a sequence here and then just go and get our third person cat blueprint and then from here get the blocking variable that we created and now on here the in the animation blueprint we just need to create another variable which is is blocking and this will be the one that we use for the animation so we can just drag it set it and this will be basically whatever we have on our player so when we change it on our player when we you know click it will also update here in this new variable in the animation blueprint which now we can use this variable on our graph so in this case what we are going to do is go to the main uh locomotion okay and on here we're gonna go into the idle state first okay so in here basically we need to create an additive animation because of course um you know make it, maybe we can uh, go ahead and, and move around but there's an easier way to do so because not only we want it for our idle but also for our walk run so what we can do instead is create a main uh state uh state okay and then we can just transition on that and use this locomotion cachet that is being used as the lower body if you get it right you will see in a second how it looks so basically here we need to create a new state right apart from a locomotion that will be blocking so let's right click new state this will be blocking so now we can just create a transition and let's double click on this transition and this will be is blocking is true so we can just drag it and there we go now we need a going back transition and in this going back transition which is this one we will get is blocking not boolean so if it's not true and then we will go back to our locomotion so the transitions are done now let's double click on the main state and let's get the blocking variable that is well not variable but animation which is here if you don't see this window you can just go to window and then uh, it should be as browser and then you can search your blocking animation now make sure to select this animation go down and enable loop animation this is very important because if not if you're holding for a bit right uh, the animation will end we don't want that we want it to loop good so now you can see that actually this will work if i go and press play and hold the right mouse button we are currently blocking which is so cool but the thing is that if i go ahead and move <laughs> we are sliding so we basically need to split our body in two so the upper part will be playing this holding animation but um you know the lower body not so that's what i meant about the splitting body and cache and so on so well the only thing we need to do is go to blocking state and we'll be using this um blend per bone layer to blend per bone and this node allows us to you know split the body in two so our base pose will not be our blocking that will be our blend pose zero because that's the one that we want to add on top but our base pose will be the cachet called locomotion which is already available with the uh, many blueprint okay animation blueprint now in this case this cachet locomotion uh, has all of the uh locomotion states so i don't walk and run and that's why it just goes ahead and work 
Okay, so right now on here, we are splitting the button in two. So the base pose will be the normal locomotion as nothing happened. And on top, we will add the blocking animation. But of course, we need to separate this body in two. So we need to specify where. In this case, let's select the layered blend per bone node. Go to layer setup. And here we add a bone. And this is where we want to split it. In this case, I think that spine zero two will work. We can check here. We click this button. Go to spine zero two and just check nothing here will work. We can also try zero three. Yeah, yeah, let's try zero three. I think it will be a bit better. And boom. Remember to write it exactly like it is. And now, if you see, um, press play. Idle is blocks. But then if I move, boom, we are also going ahead and you know blocking with our body and everything looks fine a character moves and it's split it in half and let me go and then of course you can add whatever logic in here you want to block you know actual block like receive less damage and all that stuff so that's it guys who found this video helpful i would fully appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember to have full access to the project files through patreon or youtube members join my discord server follow me on my socials check out my other ambulance fight tutorials now yes with all said, bye bye.